quarantine South Florida. What's going on? It's your girl, Super Cindy. Happy Sunday. I hope everyone is feeling blessed and highly favored on this Sunday. We have an amazing organization this morning. You already know how Community Matters goes down, and we are definitely fulfilling how we do it every single Sunday with information that can help you, information that you can spread the word about, and this is definitely one of those um, organizations. We are here with the crew from Sneaker Impact, and I'll explain what that is, and a few or they will. I have Mr. Brian Breach and also the creator of Sneaker Impact, Mo Hatcham. Good morning, guys. What is up, Super Cindy? How you doing today? Morning, Super Cindy. Thank you for having us. Thank you. No, I'm super excited because the work that you guys are doing is just absolutely amazing and it's worth spreading the word about. But first, I'd like to get to know a little bit about the both of you. So first, Brian, tell um, all the listeners a little bit about yourself, which would explain why you're, you know, involved in philanthropy. Man, so yeah, where, where does it even start? So I started in the world of music and I pivoted out of music in 2016. And I made a conscious decision to actually start shooting viral videos. Like I remember writing on a whiteboard that you got one year to make a video go viral because I was already verified on all my platforms. I didn't want to lose my followers. So I went down this crazy two year journey of actually shooting viral videos. And at the end of that year, one of them went like internationally viral. And I was given the opportunity to do a TED talk midway through that year. That's so incredible. A TED Talk, that's huge. Were you nervous? Um, I was the most nervous that I've ever been. <laughs> in my life. And, and what's funny is, you know, I've been on stages, I've opened up for some of the biggest hip hop artists, but when you're doing a TED Talk, they don't want you to bring water on stage. It's 12 minutes verbatim. It was my first ever speaking gig. I mean, my hands were shaking, but I came out of it unscathed. Um, I did okay, and it got me so many speaking opportunities. So since the TED Talk and the video that went viral, I've been able to speak around the country for the last two years. I've been on radio shows, podcasts. I'm working on my own TV show called America's Gone Viral. We partnered up with Wilhelm Keshen of the Tesla Foundation, Christine Curran, host of Dining Divas, and famous actor producer Len Davies. So, man, we're putting in work and we're doing a lot of amazing things. So, I linked up with Sneaker Impact because one of my best friends, Lex, that I grew up with, we started performing together and opened up for all these major hip hop artists together. He started working with them. He introduced me. I thought it was an amazing organization. Uh, I don't want to claim to be a sneakerhead, but I always been a fan of sneakers. I was rocking Wallabies back in high school, you know? <laughs> to be a part of the organization, hear everything they're doing, and, and, and basically saving lives one sneaker at a time, I had to be a part of it. So um, I, I'm blessed to be able to work with them. They're doing such amazing things. Let's talk to the, the creator, Mo, Mo Hatcham. So Mo, first of all, explain what exactly is Sneaker Impact. So a, a sneaker impact is a social enterprise, focuses on sustainability, creating jobs and micro business opportunities, and supporting charities, organizations here at home. Uh, Super Cindy, 1.5 billion individuals worldwide are infected with soil borne diseases because they don't have access to footwear. 300 million pairs of sneakers and footwear end up in our landfills every year here in America. 87% of Americans don't recycle their footwear, not because they don't want to, because it's not fun, it's not, it's, it's not convenient, it's not rewarding. So this is what we started here in South Florida and that we revive a social enterprise that makes it fun. We're sending bins with prepaid chip and labels to gyms, pieces of worship, we're sending them to retailers. And we're, we're, we're given a dollar for each sneaker collected to their favorite charity, to them. At no cost to them, it comes to our warehouse and we're shipping it to Haiti, Dominican Republic, Costa Rica, El Salvador, we're in Bolivia, we're in Peru, we're all over West Africa and East Africa, creating jobs, making, you know, repurposing these sneakers and they end up where they belong, not in landfill. So thank you, Super City. <laughs> Just to even, you know, honestly, like I do when, um, like, when I am finished with my clothes, my sneakers, my shoes, I always, being Caribbean, I've always sent them to Haiti and Santo Domingo where my parents are from. And I've always done things like that because, you know, they send barrels and things like that. But a lot of the average people, when they're finished with their shoes, like you said, they just fling them in the garbage or give them the goodwill or whatever. But let's discuss the process. So first, how do you get the sneakers that, you know, do you get a whole bag of donations as one random person drop them off in a drop box? Like, how does that process work? So look, Super Cindy, we're not a charity, we're a social enterprise. 
we're making a difference here and making a difference overseas. We get boxes and bins from all over the countries. We have bins here in Florida and all over the nation. And oh, okay. It's rewarding. I'm like, so we have, for example, if you know Haiti, we got, I mean, we have clients coming from micro business clients coming from Port au Prince, from Goyani, from Oka. We have people from Santo Domingo. We have people coming from Tegucigalpa, Honduras. Micro business come, they buy like 20,000, you know, 50,000, 30,000 pairs by the pound, right? In these big bundles of footwear. And they're shipped overseas then, and they're refurbished. They're washed, they're glued, they're... But again, uh, Super Cindy, you know, an SR, the MSRP price of a Nike Air Max is $200. And being from the mm -hmm. Caribbean, it's going to be very hard for somebody to pay $200 for a pair of shoes. Exactly. You know, some of these shoes need some love. They need to be painted. They need to be stitched. Big deal, right? But it's a perfectly fine... It's last year model. So what happened to the... There's a sneaker journey being told with sneaker impact, but we're making it fun and rewarding, right? So don't ditch it in the, <laughs> in the trash can. We're telling you, recycle and we'll pay you for it. And each and every pair of sneaker that we recycle gets shipped to less developed countries. From the Caribbean, Central America, South America, to you know, East Africa and West Africa, Ivory Coast, Ghana, Burkina Faso, Senegal. So we're just trying to make it fun and hip and a social enterprise at the same time. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, 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 what sounds crazy, what I'm about to say? I would love to one of the pair of shoes that gets donated and, and goes through that process to put a tracking device to just see the journey of one pair of shoes, how it goes from the middle of the Midwest or something and ends up on the other side of the globe. That, that's a great idea, actually. That, that would be really interesting. Or we could put mini cameras. We could just record the whole process, you know? That'd Not be super happen. cool. Yeah. You're welcome to come. We're in Miami, so for Cindy, please come by and visit us. We, you want to meet some lifetime micro business, you know, merchants. Come into our warehouse. You can talk to them. I don't know how is your Spanish or how is your Creole. But you, <laughs> I got good Spanish I, and Creole. <laughs> I don't know my Creole, but so so and my Spanish, but I'm not as fluent as I should be. But I mean, we would love to have you down. And yeah, I mean, if you're able, I mean, this is a great idea. I mean, thank you for the thought. I mean, just to, get, to tell that journey. That would amazing. be amazing, actually. Yeah. That'll be super cool. I would love to be involved with that if you guys do a thing called the journey and follow one pair of shoes and see, you know, the process. So, like, I, I love the fact that you said you're also providing jobs because you really are worldwide. The whole process of the thing, the, the sneakers and the shoes have to do a process from the start to the finish. So when, like, how do you find who you're, is part of the sneaker impact team, like to in the other countries, like, cause you have partners overseas and stuff. Super Cindy, I was born doing this. So I'm 47 years old. Please don't air that on the radio. This is <laughs> it's going on there. <laughs> Since now we're doing sneaker impact and we're making it hip and cool. I have 250 followers. Please don't doubt you. I'm telling people I have more followers. So, so <laughs> what happened Super Cindy, we've been doing this all our life. Sneakers is a scarce resource. No, so we're so we're selling that on pennies on the dollar. This stuff gets sold by the pound, you know, 10,000, 30,000 pairs at a time. So we fly to Haiti, we fly to Dominican Republic, we fly to Bolivia, we fly to Honduras, Costa Rica, El Salvador. We meet with micro business merchants that fly in, inspect, look at what they're doing, you know, sort them to do different piles, exactly. The sneaker that needs some love, the sneaker that needs more love, the, the one that are ripped on the side, the one that needs to be glued, then like they're shipped to these, you know, whatever country that we decide or that micro business merchants decide to ship them to, then they're given love, right? Love meaning glued, painted, stitched, washed, and they become, I mean, you're given sneaker a second life. Uh, yeah, like a brand new pair. What, for our listeners that don't know, you keep saying the word micro. What, what is it that you're saying? Micro business. So, what is that? So micro business, you're creating jobs. So for example, you can buy, instead of, you can take these thousand pairs of sneakers at that other end, and you can cre create these micro small businesses, right? So a family could buy 20 pairs, 100 pairs of these sneakers, they need to be stitched, glued, they need to be washed. This could become in a micro level, like micro business, creating jobs, stimulating economies. 
the process is not a hand out, it's a hand up, right? So by us, for us, and, and creating jobs at the local economies. I hope that. Makes I love that. Not a handout, a hand up. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so Brian, you being an influencer and doing all the things in the music industry, doing a TED Talk, like I know you said a friend of yours was got involved in it, but what honestly touched your heart that you said, you know what, I have to be a part of this whole movement. Right. So, you know, it, I, I think it was number one, since I've been born, I think it, helping people has been instilled in me. I mean, yeah. it's always there ever since I was a kid. I just always remember trying to help people. And, you know, ever since, uh, you know, it's a weird an influencer, a quote unquote, ever since I became an influencer. I mean, even before that, I've always done, I've always done things in the community. So when I was doing hip hop shows, I've done uh, AIDS events. Um, I've done a show called Hip Hop Helps where we raised money for homeless and we, raised, uh, we we collected food, we collected sneakers, we collected all kinds of things. So it's always been embedded in me. And then I think it was maybe like four or five years ago, every single Christmas, I always do something positive for the community. I remember I went to McDonald's, I popped my trunk. Oh, excuse me, I went to McDonald's, I got a hundred hamburgers, popped my trunk, went downtown Fort Lauderdale, just started handing out food. It's something that I need to do every year. I mean, I do it throughout the year, but typically around the Christmas time. And, and yeah. as a matter of fact, the video of mine that went internationally viral, um, I actually stood outside of the uh, Target implantation at Broward Mall. I pretended to be a homeless man and the sign said, please help my family for the holidays. And anyone that gave me 50 cents, a dollar, offered me food, I gave them a hundred dollar bill in return in order for them to go shopping. I ended up passing out $500. I got the most amazing reactions. I had a dad say, thank you so much for teaching my kid this lesson. Another guy, I gave a hundred dollars to, he said he's gonna pay it forward. So when that aired, um, I remember, and it went viral and it got posted on CNN and Fox, ABC, all over the TV. Um, there were people saying, hey, why didn't you hand that money out to real homeless people? I'm like, you know what? That's a great idea. So I created a, a link. Um, I started collecting funds. I sent it to all the people that were talking all this nonsense on the internet saying I should have gave the money to real homeless people. I asked them to donate. Not one person did, but I raised a thousand dollars. We presented it to the Sonoran Initiative for at-risk youth. And anyway, so the point of the question is I, I just, it's embedded in me. I feel the need to help. Look, we live on this earth for a very short period of time. We're here for a blink of an eye. What else are we here for? Are we here to be narcissistic? Are we here to, yes, we all want to be rich, Super Cindy. I want to be in a mansion on yachts every single day of my life. Of course, <laughs> that's not my, that's not the main goal. If we're not here to help people in this life, then what are we here for? You know what people are going to remember from me and Mo? They're going to remember the lives that we touch. They're not going to remember what we had in our bank accounts when I'm in the grave. Oh, again, I want some, I want a nice bank account, but of course, they're gonna remember the individual DMs I sent back helping someone that had a problem. They're going to remember the money I raised. They're going to remember how much I touched somebody's life. That's what they're going to talk about when I die. So I just want to continue doing good, helping people and, and linking up with Mo from Sneaker Impact. It's, it's the way to go. So you guys discussed that the sneakers, you know, are refurbished and redone and donated, but do sneakers ever come back to the U.S. as far as being donated? Are they donated here as well, or they all go to an island or somewhere else? Well, look, uh, we're in the upcycling reuse industry. Uh, Super Cindy, there's a, there's a phenomenon going on right now that a sneak, you could only wear a sneaker, perfectly fine sneaker, right, for 200 or 300 miles then you have to toss them. And you've heard that before. Those sneakers could, be, could last for years and years to go. So did we find the full solution for the recycling? No, we have not. Have we found a, a solution to upcycle these sneakers and give them a second life because people do need them? The statistics are all there. I mean, there's a lot of 1.5 billion people in the world worldwide are affected with soil borne diseases because they don't have access to footwear. No, so we are, uh, and thank you for that question. We haven't found the full solution, but we're making, we're making our part. Uh, yeah. Sneakers, uh, Super Cindy, are a vehicle. I mean, I call them their Hondas. Sneakers are your Honda, they're your Toyota, Mini Cooper. This is the way people get back and forth from work or to school. If, if you want to uh, uh, listen or learn more about Sneaker Impact, please log in to sneakerimpact.com. And we've been uh, shout out to Black Violin. Well, thank you. He made us this really cool documentary, Bill Baptiste, amazing guy. And he, he was one of the beginners to support us. 
and we made this mini documentary just to show the story. So if someone listening right now was interested in getting involved as well, how can like the average person that's listening get involved with this whole movement? Look, uh, please log in to sneakerimpact.com, uh, click recycle, and you can print a prepaid shipping label. We're working with the Miami Dade schools right now, promoting the zero calorie fundraising. So instead of selling candy bars, students, I mean, we're doing this all county with Miami Dade and school are participating zero, zero calorie fundraising strategy. So instead of selling candy bars and chocolate bars, uh, schools are collecting used sneakers, getting them, rewarding them from landfills and for each sneaker collected, they're getting a dollar, right? And it's a challenge. It's a challenge all over Miami. Uh, Super Cindy, we're not the only outlet. If you know a homeless shelter, if you know some kids, our message is please do not toss your sneakers, perfectly fine sneakers in the trash. Sneaker impact, this is a passion of mine. So if, if there's other outlets, if you have parents and family in the Caribbean, if you have families in Central America, if you have, there's a lot of kids here in America that need sneakers. Uh, our whole message, Super Cindy, please do not toss your sneakers in the trash. Visit us on our Instagram, sneaker.impact. If you want to be involved, support your, your charity, support your organization, or just want to recycle and make an extra buck or just help the environment, go to www.sneakerimpact.com and just click recycle. and You can get all the resources that you need at no cost to you. So Mo, you just said that this is a passion. This is your passion. How did you even come, like in, fall into this lane? Like what were you doing before? And then how did you discover, let me start recycling shoes across the world and give back that way. Like how, do, what is your story? I haven't done nothing else. I've been doing this all my life. <laughs> really? Yeah, 1967, my father had started this. We, but see now a year ago we said, it's still the numbers, you know, sneakers are a scarce resource and we couldn't get them. And there's a huge need for sneakers all over the world. And you look at Google and there's 87% of people toss their perfectly fine sneakers and footwear in the landfill. So this, Brian, thank you, Brian, the best thought there is, we're, you know, Frankie Ruiz from the Miami Marathon, uh, you know, and we have uh, happy birthday to John Lacada from the retail world. We're trying to make it hip. We're trying to make it cool and convenient. So Sneaker Impact is one, one year right now on the making, and it's creating, it's all spreading the message, it's spreading awareness, right, uh, Super Cindy? But I've been doing this all my life. I've traveled the whole world. I've lived in Africa for three years, Ivory Coast, Ghana, Burkina Faso, Senegal, in these merchants, talking to the micro business one other time. So I, I was born. Mm -hmm. he lived That's so amazing. And and breathe. That, that's super dope. High five to you, Mo. And Brian, like us being, because I'm saying us, um, us being like in the music world, in the hip hop world, we know for a fact that these artists wear their sneakers like one time and <laughs> like we've seen their closets on different shows and things like that. Has the music industry embraced this whole movement or is that a movement, like, is that a move that you guys are trying to do? Get you know, reach out to the celebrities? Yeah, so I'm not gonna lie. I, I've been far removed from the music world. Although I keep my ear to the streets, I always know what's going on in the hip hop world. I don't perform as much anymore. I'm not in it as much anymore. But yes, with, with uh, I'm, I joined Sneaker Impact. I'm gonna try to help navigate the industry and get people involved. But you're right, you know, the people wear sneakers, they throw them out, they're gone. Yeah, it's why not recycle them, give them to somebody who needs it. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna see what I can do in the, in the hip hop world. and see if we can navigate it and get people to start recycling their sneakers more. Uh, do you know, have you been to Lincoln Road lately? Oh, that's right. Yeah. So in front have of I the, been where? Lincoln Road in South Beach. Yes. So we have in front of the Nike store, in front of the Apple store, we have a huge sneaker statue. Six feet high. Six feet high. And we have Atomic, shout out to Atomic. He painted that with the sneaker impact. And it's there, six foot statue on Lincoln Road. And you know, they just told us place it there. So, I mean, it's been, uh, we're catching traction. Our, uh, thank you for hosting us. I mean, just for helping us spread the message and getting people curious. So, whoa, 87% of sneakers and shoes end up in the landfill. 
that is huge. Thank you, Super Cindy. This is what we want. You know, tap into people's curiosity and say, man, maybe I should not toss them either you sneaker impact or the other options, right? So shout out to Lincoln Road. It's amazing. Please visit yeah, us. Especially in front of the Apple store. That's like the main stop on the on Lincoln Road that everyone goes and gets their products and upgrades and all that. I told them I know Super Cindy and they had me for that <laughs> I want my own <laughs> sneaker in front of the Apple store. <laughs> <laughs> So let's talk about what's up next. Like we've, we've been talking about different things and I know like every, like, especially with organizations such as this and companies like this, it's a process step by step. So like, what are some of the goals that you guys have? Like we've already talked about getting the artists who buy a pair of sneakers every day or 50 pairs of sneakers a day and wear them once. Like, what are some of your goals for, you know, 2021? We're already going into 2022. Corporate America, talk about recycling, preach about recycling. They have a website at that about, but nobody does it, right? They preach. So we brought in John Lakada, amazing. He's, you know, VP, president of numerous shoe, you know, industry, shoe companies from Cats to Clark to Brown Shoes. And happy birthday, John. And, and <laughs> today, John is getting us into corporate America. He's making the that we want to be in Foot Locker. We're going to be in Finish Line. We're going to be in Rack Room. We're going to be, Arben is going to be there. And we're saying, look, and but it's a messaging, right? It's bringing awareness. You want to reduce footprint. Just put that bin there. And, and for each shoe that each sneaker collected, you know, we're going to give a dollar to shoes that fit. It's an organization here. Check this out. Shoes that fit is an organization here in America. They take brand new kicks and they hand them out for free here in America, brand, you know, shoes that fit. So we spoke to Amy, Amy said, it's a great idea. We're joining coalitions. So it's like, we're putting it together. Shoes that fit, you know, each dollar we collect for the use, recycled sneakers will give that to shoes that fit and, and shoes that fit will buy sneakers for kids that need them here in America. But we want, we're going after, you know, spreading the awareness and the message to corporate America. So this is what we're doing. And we need, we need the, the, the support of uh, Super Cindy here. Hey, Super Cindy. No, you have it. You know, like what's so amazing about this platform, this show, and just talking about it, like the more people that know about Sneaker Impact and by word of mouth, it keeps spreading. Pray to God, it will spread like wildfire because the, the work that you guys are doing is like the average person is not thinking about recycling their sneakers to pass them on to someone else. When they're done with that sneaker or they're sick of the way it looks or it smells or whatever the case may be, they're not thinking about passing it on. So I just think the main important goal is to just keep spreading the word about sneaker impact so that it keeps spreading and spreading, moves into corporate, moves into the music industry, moves everywhere. Cause the, the amount of people that you guys can help is endless. Absolutely. But see, we need, I mean, this is where, uh, you know, Brian Beach comes in. I mean, Brian, like, we can't afford Brian. At least I've been. I, no you know, pressure, Brian. Brian comes in. We have Frank. Price Lewis. went up. Yeah. <laughs> and Brian comes here. You know, I call this guy like 10 times a day. And like, what do you think? He's like, man, oh, I'm trying to make some money here. No, no, no. <laughs> so we, we have Frankie Ruiz, you know, like the founder of the Miami Marathon. I mean, again, yeah. he's been there since the beginning. And, and Frankie is busy. He's running these big marathons. We have people like Super Cindy, uh, we caught your attention. So, Again, spreading the message is, is, is our, this is a mission, just spreading the message and people hear about it. And if you need resources, www.sneakerimpact.com, click recycle, you can print, print a prepaid ship and label. If you are a gym and listening, if you are a gym, Planet Fitness, uh, Legacy Fit, you guys, Legacy Fit, big supporter of ours. But if you want a bin, we'll send you a bin with a prepaid ship and label. And we'll give a dollar to you or to your favorite charity for each sneaker collected to make it fun. So I, mean, I want to thank both you and Brian. Mo, thank you. Brian, Mo, um, I'm like getting all tongue tied. Mo and Brian, thank you so much for stopping by Community Matters. Again, the website is sneakerimpact.com. And what is your IG so people can log on there as well? Yeah, so check me out at uh, Brian Breach, B R I A N B R E. ACH. If you can't catch me there, catch me on MySpace. That is, no, I'm kidding. Brian Bree <laughs> on Instagram. And yeah. also sneaker.impact. You know, sneaker.impact. We need the love, we need the follow. And even if you don't have sneaker to, to, to recycle, 
uh, help us spread the word. If you're on Lincoln Road, take, you know, take a story of that statue there and help us spread the word. It's, we're doing this one soul at a time. Thank you guys so much. Keep continuing to do the awesome work that you do. It's your girl, Super Cindy. Community Matters has been produced by Dr. Delvina. I'll speak to you soon. 99 Jams. <laughs> drop, the, drop the sneaker. <laughs> drop, drop. <laughs>